Should you buy Modern Warfare 2? I'm gonna cover all the pros and cons I found in the beta to help you make a decision for yourself. Let me start by saying that I did play this beta on PS4, PS5, and on PC, and surprisingly on PS4, the game actually felt kind of smooth. It felt like it was running at 60 FPS, but then when I jumped to the PS5 version of the game, it was just a massive difference. The 120 FPS you get on PS5 just felt incredibly smooth and almost felt like I was playing on PC. And the the visual quality of the graphics or whatnot were definitely an upgrade from playing on the PS4 version. And obviously the quality of graphics and the smoothness went up even further when you played on PC. But the console players out there will be happy to hear this, that there is a FOV slider on console. But let's go over probably the most controversial part of the beta and that is footstep audio because footstep audio was insanely loud. You could hear footsteps loud and clear from a very far distance and you could clearly hear where they were coming from and this led to a lot of content creators and streamers complaining saying that footstep audio was too loud it needs to be nerfed and not only content creators but just the community in general seem to be complaining about this a lot the most common complaint i saw about this is that it's helping campers because you know they could just sit in the corner and they could hear you coming from a mile away and just be ads seeing a doorway waiting for you or whatever but then again in the last three years of mw 2019 and warzone footstep audio has been absolute trash and everyone one's been complaining about footstep audio being non-existent so it's kind of laughable to me that people are complaining about footstep audio being too loud now personally i think having really loud footstep audio is a good thing because i like knowing where my enemies are actually coming from and no i don't just sit in a corner and camp the problem with the audio in my opinion was that it was very inconsistent one life there could be a guy just sprinting two inches behind you and you don't hear anything nothing at all and then the next life the same thing could happen and it's loud and clear you know exactly where the guy is so i do think mw2 is just going to be plagued with audio issues again to be honest now the movement in mw2 felt kind of clunky at first until i got used to it there is no slide canceling anymore unless you go into the menus and change a bunch of settings then you can kind of do it but it's not really worth it slide canceling in my opinion did create a skill gap when it came to slide canceling in movement in the middle of gunfights but being forced to have to run around slide canceling the whole time you're playing the game in order to reset your tax sprint was kind of annoying there's no reason for that so i do think there should be some middle ground where you should be able to slide cancel in the middle of a gunfight in order to create that skill gap but in mw2's current state you can't even shoot while you're sliding and the sliding is very slow it's almost not worth it at all to slide because it'll just get you killed in most situations so i do kind of think there needs to be a happy medium there but this is like the old school movement so if you're a fan of that you'll really enjoy the movement in mw2 and in every single cod that's ever existed if you have an unsuppressed weapon and you shoot it you show up as a red dot on the mini map and that is changed in mw2 and that has created a lot of backlash within the community because as the same reason with the audio complaints people are saying that this caters to campers and in this situation i do agree i think it's just completely silly i mean if you don't want to be on the mini map just put on a silencer this is something i don't think i've seen anyone ever complain about it being in the game so hopefully this is something that is changed for the full game but we'll have to wait and see now let's talk about menu navigation the ui in the menus is just absolute trash there's no sugar coating this it is way too difficult to find and invite your friends and start parties or even just changing your loadouts it's just all a hassle i heard that activision actually hired people from hulu to work on the menus in this game and it kind of shows this kind of does look a, like a hulu layout and it just doesn't work in a game it's just way too clunky and way too difficult to find what you're looking for and the gunsmith has been completely overhauled there is now a system called receivers so what receivers do is you say you level up the m4 when you unlock a receiver for the m4 which is another gun a receiver is another gun you will also unlock all the attachments that you unlocked for that gun you just unlocked i know this sounds a bit confusing and it, it is very confusing but in theory this should make the weapon leveling grind a lot quicker because when you unlock a bunch of attachments for one gun then you'll have them for the next gun and it it, it will be a lot quicker i believe but the whole process of unlocking guns at this current state is very confusing in my opinion and i still don't fully understand it but that is something that'll come with time eventually we're going to understand completely how this works and i do think it's going to be a lot better for all you search and destroy fans out there you'll be glad to 
hear me say this, that Search and Destroy is just incredibly fun in this game, but there's one little nitpick I have about it, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me, is that the spectating system in Search and Destroy is very weird. It almost puts like a camera on your shoulder and you don't get a first person view of the person you're spectating. And it's almost like nauseating to look at. I don't know why they're going for this and I really think it should just be a first person view. I have seen a lot of complaints about this. So hopefully this is something that gets changed. And I'm sure there's people wondering is skill-based matchmaking in the game? And yes, yes it is. I don't think we'll ever go back to a time in gaming where there isn't skill-based matchmaking in games. And it's just very unfortunate because it makes every lobby feel like a complete sweat fest and it can lead to frustration and just make the game kind of boring over time because sometimes you just want to mess around with your friends and have a good time instead of sweating this topic has just been beaten to the ground in my opinion i think it should be connection based matchmaking we should be connecting the lobbies based on what is the best for our connection especially since the ttk in this game is extremely fast so having a bad connection in a lobby could get you killed because the TTK literally feels like you're playing a hardcore mode. So if you do love playing hardcore in COD, you're going to absolutely love this. But for the rest of you, you might not be a big fan. But what does help with the TTK is the visual recoil. The guns in this game actually take skill to use and they almost feel like you're shooting a real gun. There's just a crap load of recoil, a lot of visual recoil, and it, it makes it really hard to laser beam people at range. I didn't come across a single gun in the game that was an absolute laser beam with no recoil. They all had recoil and you really had to control it. And I really do think this is a great change because this really does add to the skill gap. One little annoyance I did have in the beta though is that you can't reload cancel. For those who don't know what a reload cancel is, say you're in the middle of a gunfight, you're running around the corner, you hit the reload button and then you YY to cancel the reload to get back in the gunfight. You know, if the guy pushes around the corner or whatnot. You can't do that in this game. If you try doing it, your character will just go back to the reload animation, which did get me killed quite a few times. Uh, overall, I do think that this is a good game. And I think if you are a COD fan who likes old school CODs, you're really gonna enjoy this one. From the limited selections of maps we had, I do think the maps were pretty good. The museum map might've been a bit too big, but other than that, the maps were actually pretty enjoyable. I'll be honest, at the start of the beta, I absolutely hated it because I was so used to MW 2019 and Warzone's movement and I just couldn't get over it. But once I started to get used to that, I really started to enjoy this game. To be honest though, I did get bored pretty quick and I don't think that's the game's fault. I just think that's the fact that I'm kind of bored of Call of Duty multiplayer, to be honest. I've been playing Call of Duty multiplayer since COD 4. So it's been like, what, 10 years I've been playing COD multiplayer, actually more than 10 years. So I think me personally, I'm just kind of bored of that style of gameplay and I'm more into the battle royale side of things but since we'll be getting this style of gameplay in warzone 2 it has me just so excited i am extremely excited for warzone 2 because this beta just felt absolutely great the colors were vibrant the visibility was really good i was getting good fps and from everything i'm hearing that's all going to be translating on over to warzone 2 so i'm just super excited for that if i did forget to mention anything in this video that you wanted to hear me talk about let me know down in the comments these are just kind of the biggest things I saw in the beta. And if you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Here's the web. Peace.